Taping your handlebars can seem really daunting, but I have some good news for you. It's actually not hard to get a great and long lasting finish. This is how you do it. This is bar taping made easy. All you need is some new bar tape, some electrical tape to neatly hold it in place, and some scissors to cut your tape. Firstly, we've got to remove all traces of old bar tape. We want to start completely from scratch. Next, we need to make sure that our cables are taped firmly to our handlebars. And it's really important that they're held tightly here because any flex is gonna really impact the performance of our brakes and also our gears. And it also means that you'll actually get a much better finish on your bar tape and it's also going to last longer. So if need be, just put a couple of extra twists of electrical tape on the cables, particularly making sure that they're snug in the corner of the handlebars there. Now pull back the rubber brake hoods. And this allows us to tape underneath them so that when we return them to our original position, we get a nice, neat finish. Always start at the end of your handlebar. And remember the two golden rules, tape firmly and tape evenly. Now to get started, we want to do a full, complete turn, but with bar tape actually overlapping the end of the handlebar, probably about half to two thirds of the tape. And the reason then is that we can tuck that spare bar tape inside the handlebar and then hold it in place with our bar end plug for a nice neat finish. Now, which way you choose to actually tape your handlebars depends firstly on which side of the handlebar you are taping, and then also actually who you ask as to which is the correct way to do it. We are gonna tape from the inside of the handlebar to the outside. So that means on the right hand side, you're taping in a clockwise direction. And on the left hand side of the bars, you are taping in an anti-clockwise direction. However, most pro mechanics seem to do it the other way around, which tells you frankly, that actually it doesn't really matter. As long as you follow those golden rules of taping firmly and evenly, you will get a great finish that lasts. Now for the technique. As we're winding the tape up the bar, we need to overlap each time by about a quarter to a third of the width of the tape. Now exactly how much you choose to overlap governs the thickness of the tape when you've finished your job. And because this nice gel tape from Profile is already quite soft and quite thick, I'm gonna overlap by just about a quarter. And when I talk about wrapping nice and firmly, what I mean is by keeping it tight at all times, but not pulling so hard, you actually distort the tape. So firm, but not too tight. And then you'll also notice that as you get to the corners of the handlebar, that you're gonna to need to correspondingly overlap more on the inside and then slightly less on the outside. This tape doesn't have it, but if yours has a sticky strip on the back, then I find it really helps to get ahead of myself from time to time by periodically exposing a large section of the sticky bit and then tearing off the backing tape so that you don't get all tangled up and in a mess. Now, once you're happy with your taping technique, there is just one section that could potentially cause us problems. And that's when we get to this point here at the levers. So this is how you get around them. The aim is to get a good covering of tape so that when the lever hood is back in place, there are no gaps at all. So we need to tape right up to close to the bottom of the lever. And then we wanna go up and over the top. Then down the other side, we then go back in front of the lever. So you see no gaps and then over the top of the bar and we can now carry on. You'll see that that little figure of eight motion has given us complete coverage and so that when the lever hood is back in place, we have no gaps. Now, we also see that now we are taping from the front of the bike over the top of the bar towards the back, which is exactly what we want. But if at any point things haven't quite gone to plan, then do not be afraid of literally undoing your handiwork and going back and redoing it. Even the most expert bar taper is probably gonna redo a couple of sections before they have it to their satisfaction. When you are totally happy and you are taped up to the right point on your handlebars, which is generally just before you get to the logos here, we need to actually then cut our tape to the right length. And to do so, 
we need to cut it parallel with the front wheel, so not in the direction that the tape is actually moving. That leaves us with a long, oblique cut look, and we're then gonna tape it in place with our electrical tape. To finish off, remember that bar end plug? Tuck that excess tape inside the bar, and then secure it in place with the plug. Making sure the logo is the right way up. There you go, one finished handlebar. As I said, it isn't a difficult job. Just remember those golden rules to tape firmly, tape evenly, and don't be afraid to backtrack if it hasn't quite gone to plan. There we go then. Now do make sure you subscribe to GCN. It's very simple, just click on the globe. There's loads more maintenance videos coming every single week. But if you're after some more content right now, then how about these two from the archives? Firstly, how to choose a handlebar because actually it might not be quite straightforward as you think. And then if you want to see a true expert taping handlebars, the legendary mechanic Jeff Brown shows you just down there.